sequel to Lego Movie. Oh, thank I you. I saw it yesterday. I loved it. Excellent. Is it finished? Fan. It is. It was finished. <laughs> thank yeah. goodness. And I stayed till the very end because uh-huh. the credit songs. Oh, they're, they're so amazing, incredible. right? Yeah, they were. Which is very. Mad uh, Kim song is so great. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I know. Okay, so I just want to know, like, what draws you guys back to the world of animation again and again? Because you keep pushing boundaries in it, both visually and in terms of story. Well, that's a big part of it. Is you know we we feel like animation is a medium and not a genre, and there's so many different ways to tell a story. We and and this past year and a half we spent working a lot on these two animated movies that couldn't look more different, but also have a lot in common as terms of like a lot of the same themes about, you know, collaboration and, and, and inclusion and all, all sorts of stuff like that. And also try to put out a, a positive message to the world and be funny and full of heart. So. And they're both really ambitious. That's one of the things that we're proud of. You know, we're, we're, both of these movies are going for it and, and not playing it safe. Well, one of the themes that I noticed at least um, in this last movie especially, but also in the original Lego movie and Lego Batman was sort of a critique on toxic masculinity. Like, <laughs> yeah, <a little laughs> we've got, bad. you know, Emmett <laughs> thinks that he has to toughen up to really right. save the day, but yeah. it's his soft side that wins. And of course, Batman is like a parody of <laughs> the, a lone wolf, but really he just needs love. But he found love. He's just psychologically yeah. he a disaster. Yeah. So what, um, was that a conscious choice that you guys made? And how did you approach that Yeah, subject? you know, we... From the very beginning, we were thinking about, you know, we made this song in the first one called Everything is Awesome. And, you know, it's not really true. Everything in the world isn't actually awesome. Mm -hmm. And there's a point when you grow up and you kind of start to realize that. And you can make a choice in your life is, am I going to, once I realize that, am I going to get cynical and angry and and harden my heart? Or are you going to make a choice to be positive and empathetic and kind? And, and we think that's actually a, a more mature thing to do. And so when you're uh, a middle schooler, like you perform this idea of like what a grown up is supposed to act like and you're supposed to be above it all. And you're basically just protecting yourself from vulnerability. And when you grow out of that, ideally, you, you know, at least we've you know, just figured out that you're it's, it's more brave and more mature to be kind. Mm-hmm. Oh, I love that. Um, speaking of everything is awesome. Mm-hmm. One thing that I found fascinating was how the Sistar system really was just like a musical. Like, <laughs> you know, music <laughs> really did feel like the universal there. language yeah. there. So what was the inspiration behind that? Um, well, I think a, a lot of it was watching like my kids and other families really uh, just dance around to everything is awesome and have them be so happy and full of joy and thinking, well, if we're going to do another movie, we should uh, build on that idea. And what if, uh, you know, the sister is just really into like pop music that a kid who's 13 who wants to be cool would find would super annoying. <laughs> so then the idea that that would be a really uh, yeah. like aggravating thing to him seemed like it was a funny place to start. So then we got to work with a lot of really cool and talented musicians and have all these funny songs. And we fell um, for the songs, yeah. you know, and just the act of trying to make them really good and appealing and say something, and, you know, it, 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 it's a delightful challenge. All right. So my final question is just really for myself, but um, <laughs> I noticed the Flash was like not really there with the Justice League. Um, uh, when we he got is. To... He's in the. Oh, he wasn't in the. He, yeah. In the in the yes. in the Sistar system. So like, he was what moving was he doing? so fast. <laughs> He's moving so fast. He's moving so fast. He's he, really busy. There's a lot to do before the big ceremony, okay. and he was like, he, he, he probably didn't notice. A lot of errands in the that he runs. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. I, that was not by design. Yeah. It was mostly. <laughs> he winds up in the spaceship though, right? Yes, he, he, he just didn't he have the there. He, you saw yeah. him, he just but he doesn't quite make the trip. Yes. Thank you guys so much.